right, here we are at CES 2017, and I have run into two of the prettiest girls at <laughs> sort of in the show, not at the show, they're in the show. And they're with Beam, one of them's in San Diego, and the other one's in, in, in Phoenix. And here we are in Las Vegas. Now, how is this possible? <laughs> so how I got here, I'm just sitting at home behind my laptop, and I'm using my laptop to uh, connect with this device, this Beam, and uh, to talk with you, and I can also move it around with my um, with my keys on my laptop. Kelsey, and you're in Phoenix. How do you like Beam? I like Beam a lot. So I was first introduced to the company because I'm a student at Arizona State University and go Sun Devils. And one of my professors, he travels a lot. And so he used Beam as a way to show up to class without canceling. And so he'll just roll through the door on his Beam. And it feels kind of funny for the first two minutes, but pretty soon it feels like he's just an instructor in the class. That's amazing. Um... And, and it also works on the other end where if there's students who are maybe in a hospital or if they need to go somewhere, it's a way for them to also go to class. And so there's a lot of different applications based on what you're looking for. but. It's a great way to still feel a part of like an office or, you know, academic culture with if you can't physically be there. The way that I see myself using it in the future is I'm about to be a lawyer, hopefully. I have one more semester and then I'll pass the bar. Uh, but uh, this would be a great tool for a situation um, in where like I'm traveling for, you know, work, deposition or even with family and I can still come in and uh, speak with clients or participate in board meetings or participate in uh, meetings with my colleagues. How much does a Beam cost? So it depends which model. There's three different models. There's the Beam Standard, the Beam Enhanced, and the Beam Pro. And the three of them are very different and they, they're for different purposes. So if you're somewhere, if you're using this for personal use or maybe you work in a small office or startup, a Beam Pro this size might not be the most logical one. It's a little, it's a little obstructive, it, it's big, and it wouldn't really blend into the background. So the, the Beam Standard starts at $1,995 and they go up from there. And what is the unit that we're talking with you on cost? Yeah, so this is the Beam Pro. Um, this is used in a lot of corporations. We have users um, who work at Google and Microsoft. And so the Beam Pro, it's expensive. It's 13950 But this has a lot of different features that make it so that we can see and understand each other clearly in a really chaotic, loud place like CES. So you could walk 15 feet away, and I'm still able to hear you because of some of the features that the Beam Pro has. You ladies have been such incredibly great spokespeople for Beam. So thank you very much. Really nice hit at the show. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day while we walk around CES. Bye. 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 And there you have it. The Beams have left.